Hi, my name is Darrell Wilkinson, and I would like to share with you today some of the enhancements that we're making with our uh, Net Backup for OpenStack solution. Net Backup for OpenStack supports the OpenStack architecture that many people are starting to invest in for private clouds. And so just as a level set here, OpenStack consists of a series of um, projects, if you will, that have different functionality and many customers use some or all or different levels of these OpenStack projects. And you have things like Nova that does compute services or Glance that handles imaging services. Neutron, for example, handles networking. And then of course you have storage, object storage, in that case we call Swift, and then block storage, in that case we call it Cinder. And of course you wanna make sure things are secure so they have Keystone, which are identity uh, security services. So OpenStack, like I said, is a series of, of uh, projects that people are really starting to take a hold of because it gives them cost savings, flexibility, so they have, it's very agile and it reduces their risk in many cases uh, because they actually have ownership of all the assets associated with their OpenStack environment. So what I wanna do is just talk to you a little bit about some of the features and some of the new things that you're going to see with Net Backup for OpenStack. So you, when you join Net Backup for OpenStack, and I didn't mention that you join through the Horizon dashboard. This is a native dashboard to OpenStack. And then within that dashboard, you have a number of features that you can take advantage of, or you can give you insight into your OpenStack environment. So you have your policies where you set up uh, different requirements for your backups, your usage, how much resources you're using, the nodes, sometimes it may be just a couple, sometimes it's thousands or tens of thousands of nodes. And then the uh, 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 net backup OSDM, which gives you insight into various aspects of your uh, operating system uh, for uh, net backup. Then your storage, your audits, your audit trail, so your logs, and your policy attributes and your settings. So as you can see, this is a native OpenStack uh, Horizon dashboard. And the first thing we show are your policies. And then we can go in and show your usage. And so you'll see through your usage, you know, how many VMs are protected, uh, how many nodes are out there and various other information that you would need to make sure your OpenStack environment is well protected. Then you can go into uh, the number of nodes. In this case, we have three uh, or two nodes. Uh, their node IDs are three. And then you can go in and you can look and this can scale to thousands of nodes. Um, and then you would look into your net backup uh, uh, OS data management solution and see that things are enabled, what version you're running, the last time it was updated, etc. Then you could talk about your storage and you can see right away that there's 6.6 uh, terabytes of, of capacity, but utilization today is uh, 131 gigabytes approximately. And the status is green, which means things are available. Then you can look at uh, your audits or your logs, so to speak. And then you can get information from those logs and you can access those logs. If you're worried about something, you think something has, has not failed or it has failed for some reason, a backup or a snapshot has failed. You can go in there and you can examine that on a per node basis. Um, then we look at the policy attributes. So, Policy attributes really define the, um, whether you're doing a full backup, an incremental backup, the status of those backups, the number of snapshots to keep. And so you would, you know, maybe keep 10, 20, 30 snapshots, depending on uh, your, your business needs. 
And then we would go in and we would look at our settings. So you can have email settings set up and then of course uh, do uh, manage your job scheduler. So as you can see, there's a lot of new features, a lot of flexibility with NetBackup for OpenStack. So thank you for joining me today and look forward to talking to you a little bit more about you know, how we schedule jobs and how we begin the process of actually stepping through and backing up uh, individual tenants in the OpenStack environment.